It's a it's an honor to stand here tonight. I'm thankful to be here. I, I love what I've already felt. And I, I love what I've heard. I already heard really give me a lot to think about. Lord, do bless you. Brother Benny, it, it truly has. And, and boy, I tell you what, everything that he's told you is surely the truth. And, and you know, if, if you don't... Uh, if, if you don't get nothing else this evening, I hope that you know that God loves you. Amen. But he loves you with a love that uh, we I, I can't even comprehend uh, that kind of love that he has. And I thought about it uh, a little bit like this. And, and you know, when we think about uh, the worth of, of, of somebody or, or the worth of a material possession, we think about the cost or, or we think about how much it's going to cost us. And I think about God and how that uh, He owned the cattle on a thousand hills. And, but everything in this world uh, belongs to Him. Uh, everything that's uh, worth anything to us, it already belongs to Him. But the only thing that He had that I believe meant more to Him than heaven itself but he, he give his only begotten son, but he didn't let it allow him to die. He said, I lay my life down. He said, no man take it from me, but God loves you. Y'all pray for a moment. Lord, Lord bless, bless you. Uh, you. Uh, I feel good right on. here, uh, but I, I want to make on, some brother. sense. And I thought about what uh, Brother Benny was talking about. And, Talking about uh, uh, in the beginning, and I thought about John when he when he spoke uh, the Gospel of John. He said, "In the beginning was the Word." He said, "And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the same was in the beginning with God." He said, "All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made, and in Him was life, and the life was the light of men." And I. I'm glad tonight, you know, it goes on a little ways. And he said that he came to his own, and his own received him not. But he said, as many as received him, gave the power to become the sons of God. I'm glad tonight, and oh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm just glad tonight, Brother Ray, I'm a child of God. I'm glad that buddy, I, I'm like him. I, I hear the voice I speak to my heart. And I thought about what they said about him over there. Uh, they said that we never heard. I asked them, they said, why? Why don't you do something about him? They said, because uh, we've never heard a man uh, speak to this man. Buddy, I tell you, uh, when the voice of God uh, speaks to your heart, they, uh, there's no denying of uh, uh, what it is. It'll bring a uh, uh, conviction upon you. Uh, and listen, I was a lot uh, like Brother Benny was talking about. Uh, I grew up and I always believed uh, my entire life that they was a God. I, I believed that Christ. Uh, I believed in the stories they told me that Jesus had died on the cross. I believed all those things. And, and I never thought anything else uh, about it, but it, uh, that is it. I did not save me of uh, just having that head knowledge. Uh, buddy, I thought I was all right. Uh, I thought about Paul over there when he was about, uh, always about preaching the gospel, uh, uh, going about uh, uh, the Lord's work. And he came uh, uh, over there to a certain place and he, and he stood upon Mars Hill. And, but he seen the people and he looked around and he said, I perceive that you're a superstitious people. But they had all over the place, they had monuments, they had temples erected of the gods here and there. But they had a little rock out there and they had written on it up to the unknown God. But he brought the Paul was about to reveal to them, was about to show them who they that rock was. But I'll tell you, God is unknown to you until, until now you're not unknown to Him. And He knows you. 
know where you're at tonight, but you don't know him. If you've never been born again, I've been born of the Spirit. Don't take me wrong. God loves you and He knows where you're at. He knows what you stand in need of. But He wants to bless you. The Lord said that I come that you might have life. He said in the world, but in the world you'll have a tribulation. But He said what He said. He said I have overcome the world. He said that you might have peace. But I'm glad tonight we are overcomers in Christ Jesus. But we've got the victory. I like that song. A victory in Jesus. But called I pay. It doesn't matter how far you've gone. How far down the road you might have traveled. The Lord can bring you up to that place. The Lord can save you. Uh, just in a moment of time, uh, some it takes a little longer. Uh, they some, uh, but it don't take that long at all. Uh, oh, lesson, uh, but it come down to a point in my life. Uh, I was sitting out there, and, and buddy, I thought everything uh, was going to be all right. Uh, oh, but listen, uh, there's a man preaching, uh, and buddy, I felt that spirit, uh, and I realized. Hey, there's something that ain't right with me. There is something I didn't understand what it was. And when I ran out and I came up to the front, I really didn't know. I didn't know anything to repent for. I know what I was seeing. But I didn't know what sin. But I tell you. When he saved me, brother, he covered a multitude. Yes, he did. Oh, he covered them all at one time. Oh. I'm glad tonight that he said that I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. He said, oh, but I'll go all the way, even unto the end. And I'm going to tell you they sung. Buddy, I'm glad tonight that I have. And he seals you, buddy. He seals you yeah, with the Holy Ghost. He seals you earnestly until that day of redemption. I love that what Paul said. The foundation of God. A stand assured. Having this seal, the Lord knows them that are his. Oh, like Brother Benny already told you. What what manner of love is this that God hath bestowed upon us? He calls us His sons. We are a joint heirs with Christ Jesus. We're joint heirs with Him. But you have to be born again. You have to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. And like I was saying when I first stood up, I don't think that you ever realize how much that God uh, truly loves you until you come and you drink from that fountain and until you feel the very presence of His Spirit in your life. I tell you, I, like I said, I've heard about it all my life and, and I, there never was a doubt in my mind. But, uh, buddy, listen, it doesn't matter. Uh, ain't nobody trying to get anybody. Ain't nobody can get you saved. Uh, ain't nobody can uh, can pray you in. They can pray a conviction upon you. They can pray that the Lord will draw you with His Spirit because He did say that there's none that can come unto me, least the Father who sent me draw Him. But I'm glad uh, uh, that's not hard because it said that the great Grace of God that brings salvation hath appeared unto all men, teaching us that we live ungodly, that we should live righteously and soberly in this present time. 
But I'm glad that Weston John said you don't need no man to teach you. You have an unction on the inside of you. But if you've got the love of God shed abroad in your heart, it's not hard to live for Him. It seems like uh, uh, even as I was talking to a man earlier, uh, when we're lost, we, we consider things and we look at things like this. Well, uh, I might be good enough. Uh, they get conformed to religious and, uh, things. They get conformed. Uh, we, we're worried about being conformed to the world. We ain't conformed to the world because there's lost people. Uh, sometimes they get conformed uh, to religion. And it seems... Uh, like listen, you don't have a brother to be a drunk to get saved. Uh, no, you don't have to be a drug addict uh, to get saved, brother. Ben. You don't have uh, to be one of them. But you, uh, the only thing that the thing that makes you lost uh, is you was born and that uh, you was conceived uh, 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 of sin. But listen, uh, you when you became when did you become accountable? Uh, and it was Paul said. Where there is no law, there is no transgression. What, what age is accountability? I don't know. It just depends. When the Spirit speaks to you and you realize that you're in need of a Savior, then you're accountable to God. Yeah. Amen. Right. And they son, even now that they consider it, they say, well, I've never committed adultery. They say I've never murdered, I've never stole, I've never, uh, I've never uh, hurt anybody in my life. Kind of like that rich man, uh, but he he went to the Lord and inquired uh, how that he could be saved, and, and the Lord simply told him, you know, to keep the commandments. This was under the law. Now he said to keep, you know, uh, thou shalt not kill. Uh, uh, he, he, Thou shalt not commit it. And he, the young man went on and he said, Lord, all these have I kept for my youth up. Uh, but the Lord knows your heart. Uh, listen to me for a moment. If you've ever looked upon a woman uh, to lust after in your heart, uh, you've committed adultery. Uh, the Lord put a new emphasis on it. If you ever uh, coveted something uh, that didn't belong to you and you dreamed. Uh, I ain't now listen just for a moment. Let me finish this. But uh, you stole off that person. If you, uh, if you ever hated or despised uh, Somebody that might have hurt you or wronged you and even hated them to death. But you murdered that individual in your heart. For out of the heart proceedeth the thoughts of, uh, out of the mouth. Uh, it, it has the things of the heart. But listen, they've done, they've done righteous. Uh, no, not none. They've done that do it good. So how can anybody get to heaven? Uh, that's why that Christ had to come and had to die because a God that cannot lie, a promise before the world, a promised eternal life before the world uh, ever began. So how do we get uh, rid of all these sins? Uh, but when the Spirit of God is speaking to your heart, uh, you believe uh, in Jesus Christ. And but he said, uh, uh, Whosoever shall call upon his name shall be saved.